feeding time is what it is. That's why I have her out. Yes, her. First order of business with this is to take care of business and let her go potty. There's that. Now I have a pre-mixed formula that we get from Fox Valley Nutrition, specifically for baby squirrels, Eastern Cottontails, and opossum babies, less than four weeks. These babies are two weeks old, so they have to have a special formula. And I, it's a two to one mix, so I mix one part bottled water, filtered, I don't like to use tap water, uh, one part water, one part unflavored electrolyte solution, AKA Pedialyte, to keep up hydration. And then one part milk replacer. And they eat about a CC when they're not messy with it. Now they are just now starting to get their hair. So what that means is I have to help them regulate their body heat because they can't do it and they will chill down very quickly. So what I have them on, she is full, is a heating pad. And as soon as we do her, take care of her potty business and we feed her and clean her up, she's gonna go right directly back into a pouch. And that's gonna help keep her warm it's not they're not going to lose their body temperature now i am using a 3cc syringe and a miracle nipple jimmy dang the uh miracle nipples i'd get off of amazon um, you can order packs of them they're about two weeks old. They've not got their eyes open yet, and that's a good indication of how to age them. Um, if they, if you find them and they've got some hair on them, but they still don't have their eyes open yet, this one's messy. Um, probably looking at less than four weeks. If you find them and they've got some hair and they have their eyes open, then they are over four weeks. I'm gonna put them before she chills down, before the rest of them get chilly. I'm gonna put them back on their heating pad. We acquired these squirrels because somebody chopped down um, a tree in our yard. Now, um, we always caution people against that, you know, just kind of look up and look at your surroundings and make sure that there's nothing really kind of up there or iffy. Um, if you do find anything injured or abandoned, make sure that it is in fact just as such. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you can find your local rehabber. Um, here in the state of Kentucky, it's the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. They have their own website. You can Google it. Um, we ha they have a list of uh, myself and other rehabilitators that are close, depending on what area you're at. Your own state has their own set of rehabilitators um, facilities that if you find something, they can assist you. Um, but always take care when it is a wild animal and find out in fact for sure that it is either abandoned or maybe mama just left it for a minute and is going to be right back she is done she does not want anymore now you still even though it was just clear fluids we're still going to stimulate her that's warm water in there warm clean water and i'm just going to wipe her over we're going to copy mom Mom would wipe her little baby down with her tongue and clean her up. You'll never find dirty babies coming out of mom's nest. Pull the skin up lightly. One, two. It's down completely in two seconds. Once again. Oh, that didn't even take that. Doesn't even want to come up. That is how you tell a dehydrated animal. She is no longer dehydrated. Now this little squirrel has been with us, has been on formula, has grown, been doing great, but she was dehydrated. So you are not going to hydrate them with formula. You're going to use either lactated ringers, um, Pedialyte. You're going to use a clear fluid to rehydrate them. And sometimes healthy babies that are on a good feeding program will just all of a sudden get dehydrated. So you want to give them that Pedialyte. Right, now our milk has cooled down. It's probably about 
the same temperature as my finger now, which my body temperature is 98 degrees. Put about four cc's in here to start with. Now if these babies hadn't eaten in a while, whenever they eat, they're gonna try to suck that milk down. If you're not careful, they can inhale the milk and you'll see it come out their nose. If that happens, you wanna stop and you wanna clean it up with a wet paper towel. That's bad, you don't want that happening. If you don't have a feed nipple, that feed nipple is gonna keep um, them from inhaling the milk. But this is just a syringe. So you don't wanna let him get the whole entire syringe in his mouth like this. Because if you do, he can suck that milk out of the syringe and you'll see it coming back out of his nose. You wanna just kinda of hold him firmly and you wanna put barely the tip of it up to his mouth and press down on it very slowly. If you press too fast, it's gonna push that milk down his throat and then that milk is gonna come out of his nose. They can get a respiratory infection um, it can cause to a lot of other problems. But you want to make sure you feed it very slowly to keep that from happening. Um, I actually have four, well, I have more than four, but I have four different ages of squirrels. Um, and a lot of the time when we get phone calls, people will say, I have a baby, and I'm not sure how old it is. And sometimes we'll get in like a big, almost adult squirrel that's eating on their own and rambunctious and definitely didn't need to be brought in. And then sometimes we will get, you know, something on the phone, oh, I have a baby squirrel, I'm not sure how old, and it will be a little guy that needs to come in. And this will be a good way for you to be able to identify what age group you're at. Let me grab him out, is this little guy. Um, he's about a week old. He is just starting to get a dark color pigmentation. He has a little bit of whiskers that are coming in here. And he doesn't have his eyes open, he doesn't have his ears up. He still has those black squirrel nails. Um, and he's really, you can see his body's very tiny. Um, he's obviously has good energy. Um, another thing you can look for in the belly, do you see this little white line? If that white line exists, that's called a milk line. That means that there's milk in the belly and he's not starving. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. You. But you can see how there's that little white line. It's really, um, it's not obvious when they don't have it, but it's obvious when they do have it. So if you find one of these little guys, he has a beautiful milk line there, you can try and reunite that one with mom. If you find one of these guys, he's lethargic, he's sluggish, he's dehydrated looking, um, and he doesn't have that line, then we'd wanna go ahead and see him in because this guy is only eating milk from mom right now. Obviously he doesn't have his eyes open, he doesn't know where he is, you know, it's best to get them back with mom or get them to a rehabber. My second example here is this little guy. And I actually had him in a video before. Um, he's gotten a little bit bigger, he had some puncture wounds, but they've healed very nicely and he's gotten quite a bit fatter. Um, so if you see, his eyes are still closed, he has hair all over his face, ears are starting to perk up a little bit, and he's got this big round belly. But you can see, and you can see right here, he's got a little bit of chub, so you know he's well fed. He's got a big round Buddha belly. Um, he's not, a lot of times when they're too thin, you can see these really distinct bones in the back. You can see the spine very distinctly. Um, but he is about three weeks old now. Uh, he's doing very well. He's a very healthy looking guy, other than those little punctures that actually did heal really well, but they left a little bald spot. Um, another thing you can look at is the tail. This tail is nice and clean and it's, you know, not um, bald at all. Sometimes the tail will be bald or you'll see the bones, the individual vertebrates in the tail. And the same is true for the little bitties. Um, it's more of this age. And possums is if you see those little vertebrates in the tail, it's a sign of dehydration. And you can see them sometimes with the squirrels too and that's bad news. So those are things to look for. And the same, I mean, this age, you can kind of see the milk line. I'm sorry. Well, you're starting to not be able to see that milk line anymore. It's starting to go away because he's covered with fur. Um, but, you know, they'll cry or, you know, they'll be lethargic, sluggish. Anytime you see flies or any other bugs around them, those kind of things, we'd want to see him in. If you found a guy that looked just like this and he was warm and fat and happy, I'd try and reunite him with mom. All right. I put these guys back and I'm gonna get my next example. So this is a four week old squirrel, maybe a little more, maybe closer to five. Say hello, she just opened her eyes a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, they're still working on opening that eye. But um, you can see smaller, um, a little bit, 
you know, a bit, bit bushier tail. It's starting to actually get some character to it. Eyes are opening, fur everywhere, ears are perked up. This girl is still only eating formula. Um, so she needs to be with mom 24 seven. Right now, you can start to see them on occasion, like nibbling at stuff, but really they're just starting to become a little more active, just starting to become a little more independent, but still totally need their mom. So if you, hello, if you find one of these and they are crying or following you around, or they seem really lethargic and cold, we would wanna get some help for her. Um, otherwise, you know, if she was fat and happy and warm, we'd try and reunite her with mom too. Here we go. This is about six weeks old. She has eyes open. Ears are normally up. She's a little nervous right now because she doesn't know what I'm doing. Um, she's a little, I think I grabbed the wrong one. I think you're five weeks old. <laughs> this is the one that actually just opened her eyes last week too. As you can see, very similar to the other one with that little bit of bushy tail. We have eyes are open, but she's still like, what the heck are you doing? Still eating completely from mom. Um, this one's actually very sweet. You're very sweet, aren't you? Again, always try and reunite with mom first. That's always the best idea. And from there, we try to troubleshoot and try and get them into rehab. She doesn't want to hold still, but this is a good sign. <laughs> you can see she's a little bit older. Um, she is eating a little more solids. She's still needing mom's milk, which is very important. And she is just scared to death right now, so I'm gonna put her back. But the older they get, the hold, the older they get, the harder they are to handle, the more rambunctious they are, and that's what we wanna see. So if we're getting them in and they're lethargic and they're sleepy and they're not doing very good, those are bad signs. So I hope that helped. I know that was a couple different age groups. Um, anything bigger than that, they start to eat on their own a little bit more, they're a little more independent, and it's a little bit harder to tell who is totally on their own and who's not. But always contact your local rehabber, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks.